catching the energy, okay, and I'm just catching this point here. It could be even if somebody's grabbing a hold, it doesn't have to be a punch, you just, I don't see him one bit his fingers. <laughs> okay, just there, just the turn. Okay. Let's do it off of the punch, because he changes his whole thought. Did you notice how his body went different by his thoughts of grabbing different than his punching? The rest of the body moves pretty much the same. But if he's thinking of the grab, as a grab, his body is locked up different in his movement than if he's punching. If he's punching, see the difference in the energy? These are things that you've got to calibrate. This is next level stuff. Yes? No? <laughs> How many people think about that? By the action that they're doing dictates the difference of how the body will be responding to the things that you're doing. And it will actually make a difference whether you hit the person and will knock them out or not knock them out even. That, that much in the detail of things with the same amount of hit in the same place. There's a lot going on. That's why the more you know about your own body and how it relates to the energy in it and where you're at in your own energies, is going to be the level that you can become a master in life or in your body, in, in Buddha. Okay? So let's practice this one technique. Okay? So we're just capturing and moving. And it may be that smooth, it may not. You know, it doesn't even matter if it's just in that position. I'm just holding up for a moment. Maybe some other person was attacking me, one from here. I'm just putting him in between. Okay? Could be kicking him. Could be, I might throw him, just throw him off me. Doesn't matter. Maybe I just need to get by. I'm, my goal is to get over there, and this guy's trying to attack me, and he's just moving him so I can keep running and hit this guy. Got the idea? Alright, play for a moment. Let's see.